A gene has two main parts, a regulatory region containing a promoter and a transcription region which contains the coding information for a protein product. During the first phase of gene expression, called transcription, the nucleotide sequence in a gene is used as a template to make a complementary RNA molecule. Although this example is from a eukaryotic chromosome, the three basic phases of transcription are similar in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes, initiation, elongation, and termination. In eukaryotes, the enzyme RNA polymerase II is responsible for transcribing protein-coding genes. The process is simplified here to show the polymerase binding to the promoter on its own. But in reality, the initiation phase of transcription in eukaryotes requires the participation of many other proteins. This binding forces the DNA double helix in the transcription region to separate into two single strands. Based on the orientation of the regulatory sequences in the DNA, only one of the two separated DNA strands serves as the template strand during transcription. The other strand is called the non-template strand. In the elongation phase of transcription, the RNA polymerase molecule begins to travel in one direction along the template strand, catalyzing the addition of complementary ribonucleotides. The RNA strand elongates in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. These numbers indicate the orientation of the sugar phosphate backbone in the DNA or RNA strand. The template DNA strand is anti-parallel, meaning that it's read in the opposite direction. A close-up shows some details of the RNA and DNA. An adenine base, A, in RNA pairs with a thymine base, T, in DNA. Because RNA has uracil rather than thymine, an adenine base in DNA pairs with a uracil base, U, in RNA. Hydrogen bonds form between the complementary base pairs. As in DNA synthesis, new ribonucleotides are added to the three prime hydroxyl group of the growing RNA strand being synthesized. If the incoming nucleotide pairs properly with the next base in the template DNA, the RNA polymerase catalyzes the formation of a covalent bond. As a result, the RNA chain is elongated. Transcription ends with a termination phase. The RNA polymerase proceeds along the length of the gene. As the polymerase travels, the RNA dissociates from the DNA and the DNA reforms a double helix. Sequences at the end of the gene called transcription termination signals direct the polymerase to end transcription. The RNA, DNA, and polymerase then dissociate from one another. The RNA polymerase is free to transcribe other genes in the cell.